is very interesting, but I'll explain it the interesting part just now. You might have seen it if you tried this one by yourself. So let's go find the first three terms. So term one, we know that you start by plugging whatever this number is into the place of k. So that'll be two times one minus one over one. And that actually just gives us one. Term two is gonna be two times two minus one over two, which is three over two. And then lastly, term three, which will be two times three minus one over three. And that gives us five thirds. Now here's why this question is very interesting. It is not arithmetic, but it is also not geometric. To test if it's arithmetic, I would test to see if t2 minus t1, whoops, is the same as t3 minus t2. Let's see if it is the same. So if I say three over two minus one, that gives us a, oh, that gives us one and a half minus one, which is a half. Is that the same as t3 minus t2, which is five thirds minus three over two? So let's see what that gives. It gives us one over six. So these two are not the same. So it's not arithmetic. Then let's check if it's geometric. For it to be geometric, the ratios should stay constant like that. So let's see if it does. So if we say term three, which is five thirds, if you divide that by term two, which is three over two, let's see how much that gives. So that gives us 10 over nine. Now let's check T2 divided by T1. So T2 over T1 would be three over two divided by one, which is three over two. So the ratio is not even constant. So Kevin, what is going on? We in grade 12, we're learning about arithmetic and geometric patterns. And here you've thrown us a question that doesn't have any of them. So guys, when you get a question like this in the exam, you gotta be careful. It's not arithmetic or geometric. It's not even quadratic. It doesn't matter though, because what does this symbol stand for again? It means the sum of, so you have to plus everything together. They haven't given you a lot of terms. Remember to work out the number of terms, you take the number at the top, minus the number at the bottom, and then you plus one. In this case, it means there are four terms, but it won't always be the same as this number, so be careful. So we only have four terms. So let's just go find the fourth one by plugging in everything that we need to over here. And that gives us seven over four. Now what we do is we just go add these numbers together because that would give us the sum. And our answer is 71 over 12. And if it wasn't an exam where you would have two decimal places, you would say 5.92. Now, Kevin, why didn't we just do this in the previous examples? Be you could, but in the previous examples, they gave us like 20 terms. So it would take a lot longer. So that's in those types of examples, it will always be arithmetic or geometric. And so you can just use the formula. But when they give you something like this that doesn't have any pattern, it'll usually be a very small amount of terms, and so you can do it manually on your calculator.